The shuttle Endeavour is ready to go on launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, scheduled to leave the Earth in a couple of minutes for a nine-day, five-hour mission to map planet Earth. The shuttle's cargo bay filled with exotic radar equipment, which will give ground-based scientists and the rest of us images of 5% of the Earth's surface. The ultimate goal of mission to planet Earth is to look at the entire planet from space with an eye towards solving some of the ecological problems that cause trouble down here. I spent part of this week with mission scientists, and they say they hope to find out which changes in the Earth's ecology are caused by people and which are caused by nature. There are three separate radar systems in the cargo bay. Some will look at the Earth's surface, and some can even see through clouds and down below the surface of the water and ice and some land masses, particularly deserts. The picture that you're seeing right now is, of course, the skies over Florida. Yesterday, they were very, very cloudy, preventing the launch. And right now, as you can see, there's a band of clouds. But in general, the skies are clear. There are no uh, weather constraints to launch, as NASA calls them. And uh, with about 90 seconds to go before the liftoff, you can see the shuttle Endeavour there on the launch pad. Uh, you can see also the winds that are blowing at about uh, 21 miles an hour. As long as they don't get up to 25 miles an hour, the, uh, the shuttle will be able to lift off on schedule, and there's no, uh, no possibility, no potential for that to happen, according to the ground controllers. Everything in readiness for the launch, as long as the equipment aboard Endeavour continues to work very, very well. Back to the mission for a little bit. Uh, there's a piece of equipment in the cargo bay which will measure the amount of carbon monoxide in the Earth's atmosphere. It'll help scientists determine how much of the polluted air from the northern hemisphere drifts down to the southern half of the globe. The astronauts will be working around the clock in two seconds. ships for the as the shuttle passes over for a particular land mass and the radar beams down to study it. In the final uh, half minute of the countdown, we'll listen. We'll continue to listen to NASA commentator George Diller until the most important point in this mission when the pilot says, go at throttle up. So let's listen. Endeavour's computer is now controlling. Sound suppression water system being activated. And for main engine start. Seven, six, main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the space shuttle Endeavour, observing the changes of planet Earth. Endeavour speed now, 1,000 miles an hour, five miles downrange. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Altitude nine miles. Three engines now back at full throttle. One and a half minutes since launch, Endeavour's already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Well. In about the next 60 seconds, uh, another uh, milestone in the, uh, in the career of this uh, space shuttle crew will be passed as the two huge solid rocket boosters that are providing most of the thrust to get it into orbit are jettisoned from the side of the shuttle. As long as those rockets are there, there is still a, a considerable amount of danger to the, uh, to the crew on this mission. And uh, we'll watch with great interest to make sure those rockets burn out on schedule and separate. There they go. And uh, if you were, I've talked to astronauts who were sitting in the shuttle for one of these launches, and they say when that moment comes, everybody aboard breathes a sigh of relief. Uh, because uh, those two rockets really, they think, are among the most dangerous parts of, uh, of the shuttle system. So what's uh, going to happen for the next six minutes? The shuttle will continue to uh, go into orbit 
using the power of the three main engines there at the base of the spaceship. After it reaches orbit, um, the payload bay doors will be opened uh, within a matter of 30 or 40 minutes, and um, the astronauts will begin their mission to planet Earth. Over the next nine days, we are going to see some pictures of this planet that are unlike any that human beings have seen before. It should be quite a nine days. I'll be here with you, and we'll continue to watch throughout the nine days. John Holloman, CNN reporting.